this lecture we will solve problem 85 of H.C. Verma by a shorter method and so it's an interesting problem here this is the angular velocity which is anti-clockwise direction which is given to this body when it is placed on the floor and this is a rough surface and it is given a translational velocity of V and omega and V are related where omega is V upon R. R is the radius of the sphere. We have to find out what is the velocity of the sphere when the let us this is the final stage where the rolling pure rolling starts. Before pure rolling there will be another stage where the omega has to first become zero because omega is in the opposite direction. Please note at this stage here if you see initially the velocity is in this direction towards right so for the pure rolling to start omega has to go in that direction means it has to reverse the direction direction is given opposite body is rotating in this direction and moving opposite it is just the reverse in normal course body will rotate like this and move in that direction here rotation is opposite to the direction of motion so the friction force <coughs> here will oppose the rotational motion and will also retard the translational motion. Uh, we will try to do it using the concept of uh, conservation of angular momentum that is a shorter method. Now always take in such problems a point of contact P, P and P. Even if this point is moving on this surface but the point of contact remains the same it is the point of contact between the sphere and the floor now for such problems one is the point of contact you can take another is that whenever a body say this is the body and this is the center of mass and say this is the velocity and take a reference point we can take any reference point and the body is rotating along the center of mass with angular velocity omega please see it has to rotate about its center of mass then to calculate the angle mo angular momentum about this point O draw a straight radius vector R touching the center of mass and then the angular momentum about O would be the angular momentum of the body about center of mass and the angular momentum of the body with respect to O. So it will be R cross V into M. That M is the mass of the body. Means you have to take the perpendicular. If this angle is theta, this angle will be theta and you drop the perpendicular like this. Velocity, the distance of the velocity vector from the point of reference, the perpendicular distance you have to take. So if this is R, this will be r sin theta and if you look at this formula it will be m v r sin theta because r cross v sin theta so simply take uh, this makes the problem easier <coughs> and shorter now let us apply this formula here in this problem this is the point of contact this is the velocity of center of mass and the radius vector here will be r which is perpendicular so angular momentum at this point initial would be the angular momentum about the center of mass now we are taking clockwise as positive about the reference point see this is clockwise so it is positive but what about the angular momentum about the center of mass it is anti-clockwise so the angular momentum about the center of mass you have to take as minus i omega omega is given in anti-clockwise direction that is why I have taken minus I omega and I is the moment of inertia about center of mass this is center of mass plus mass of this sphere velocity which is given and the radius vector R this is L1 let me write L1 as in terms of moment of inertia of spheres is solid sphere is 2 upon 5 m R square into omega was the angular velocity plus m v r now let this be at here 
the point of contact had shifted don't take the same point this point has shifted here now point as point of contact in case of ruling slipping such sphere cylinders will keep on moving along with the body so point of contact is now here and let the velocity be v1 now the angular velocity is zero here because the rotation stops and after this position rotation becomes clockwise and here it becomes omega final and v final where v final is r omega final we will reach that stage but to reach that stage first omega has to become zero because it was in opposite direction now what is the angular momentum here about p l2 would be the angular momentum about the center of mass of the sphere which is i center of mass v1 <coughs> uh, which is sorry uh, i center of mass into omega is 0 plus m v1 into r m v1 r is the angular momentum about point p of because of the translational motion and here r is the radius vector angle is 90 degree so mv mass of the body into velocity of the center of mass please re remember the velocity here we have to take is the velocity of center of mass and in this case it is the velocity of center of mass so l2 would be this is 0 m v1 r l2 now l2 and l1 will be equal so just equate and here replace the omega by v upon r so you get minus 2 upon 5 m r square v upon r plus m v r is equal to m v 1 r here you get 3 upon 5 m v r this is capital m is equal to m v 1 r so v 1 becomes 3 upon 5 v this is one part of the problem so here the velocity will be 3 upon 5 v now what is the final situation at final situation angular momentum would be i center of mass omega final plus m v final into r and here there is a pure ruling so v final is equal to r omega final or omega final you can write as v final upon r so right here 2 upon 5 and it is in clockwise so it will be positive m r square v final upon r plus m v final r so it becomes 7 upon 5 m v final into r this has to be equal to the initial angular momentum which was 3 upon 5 m v r initial angular momentum about point p so it is 3 upon 5 m v r so m gets cancelled r gets cancelled so v final will be 3 upon 7 v so this is the final velocity when the pure ruling starts and this is the velocity when the ruling just stops uh, and the uh, rotation is about to begin in the clockwise direction and you can see the velocity is falling it was v it is 3 upon 5 now it has further fallen to 3 upon 7